So we're gonna do two Goodwills over here and then we're gonna go to a toy store, so stick around. not a lot of video games here uh, just some karaoke there's literally one two three four five karaoke revolution games I've got all of them so there's not a lot of need there also orange tags are a dollar today but I don't need that either not a lot of games here today so let's go look at the toys this is actually one of my favorite dish sections in a Goodwill the last couple times that we've been here I found like random valuable mugs and like random plate sets that were really cool um, so the mug section is definitely something I always want to check. There's uh, some fun stuff here, but nothing incredibly valuable through this mug section. Minecraft toys can be so annoying because there's so much aftermarket stuff. So like when you see a lot of these, they're like, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Like street fair toys. Like someone's walking down the road selling these in balloons to you. Like that's what that is. We always joke about making a bingo card to play bingo in a Goodwill with stuff you see. And for some reason, this sharper image toy is always at every Goodwill I've ever been to. Every single one. Missing its clip. <laughs> A very specific Nerf barrel. I wish the rest of that blaster was here. It's a Buzz spaceship. I guess they're in the middle of restocking right now, or at least reorganizing. Like right out the gate, there's definitely some vintage here that's cool. These little lemonade things. How neat is that? There's two of them here, which would be really cool. They're a little small for them to be actually useful, but I mean, maybe if you wanted to fill these up with water and put them on your plate at a, you know, a dinner party or something, that could be cool. This is kind of crazy looking. There's a lot going on here. First of all, what a random price. $67. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Our Goodwills do this. I don't know if you guys' Goodwills do this, but our Goodwill always makes it a, a, a weird change amount because they definitely, definitely want you to make a donation of your leftover change from your dollar amount. And that's, that's their strategy to get you. Always make sure there's some change left over. But $67 even, that's odd. But it's also odd because it's got some flower designs on it. It's clearly for your thread and your sewing materials and it's just old it's very it's cool but we don't need that but i am looking for kind of cabinetry and things like that to put in our bread truck so that's what brought me over here to look but i do think there's something we might consider getting what do you think about that above our sink we've already got a little mirror hanging there and it's kind of cool but I've been wanting something to put our toothbrush and you know our toiletry type things in you think it's too big or what do you think I don't think it's too big no is it too uh rustic it probably is a paint job but what color would you paint it I think it's kind of all right the way it is yeah. look it even comes with a free screw <laughs> I kind of want to get it I do have a nice corning wear piece here it's not badly priced, it's $6.49. I sell these for about $25 in my antique mall, and I do like the wildflower pattern quite a bit. It's just a pretty design. So we'll definitely think about that one. So I've looked through all the books, and there's nothing. This Goodwill is like clearly in the middle of like clearing out to restock. So kind of not a lot to look at, but there is some new stuff to look at. These were clearly just put out, because green is the new sticker this week for sure. I know that. This is a giant stack of Iwasha. And I want them. We sell a lot of these at one of our antique malls, but like 
this is the kind of thing I usually only buy in bulk when it's like a half off day or something. So I don't know, but I also don't want to leave these if they're valuable. So I'm going to give them a little scan on eBay just to make sure. Nothing comes up with the barcode scan, so I'm going to type in EU. Not easy to spell. Inuyasha. Uh, I guess just manga. To see how much they generally run for a lot. It's so like, here's 20 bucks for a lot. It's almost the exact same size of what I got. And after 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, literally almost exactly 20 bucks for all that at 229 a piece. So, not going to be worth, but I love Inuyasha. So, I, I almost just want to buy them and read them. But maybe if they were like the first six or seven and not, you know, 17, 13, 18, 19, 18, 21, 22, 20, 19, 16. I probably would buy them, but we're just going to end up leaving with a mirror toiletry box for the bread truck. Oh, hey, come on in. So we bought this and I knew it was a little bit big for what we wanted, but this is also about as small as this kind of cabinet's going to come. They certainly will come a little thinner. You might picture the the white ones that go in typical bathrooms being a little bit thinner but even then it, it's not gonna be perfect but i have a lot of fun building out this camper bread truck conversion with stuff we find at the thrift all this stuff do it do a circle do one of these all this stuff all of it's from the thrift store so uh given that i want i want to use this but you can kind of see here the sink that i bought at the goodwill bins kind of has a problem with it but you know what it's still usable that stays up sink the faucet comes up as high as it needs to so for now i'm going to let that ride and use it eventually what we'll probably do is put a bigger deeper sink basin in here and when that happens it probably won't have this kind of lid it'll have a lid that just picks up and comes out and you set it aside a lot of people like to make their uh sink cover a chopping board that's exactly cut to the size of their sink and then when they drive they put stuff in there and put the chopping board on top of it and it holds it in we're not really going that fancy but i knew when i bought this is going to be a little big and that this might be a problem but that's not going to bug me too much for now we're going to go with it so let's go ahead and put this bad boy in uh and we'll drive around see how it does of course there's a little worry that it's going to need some magnets to hold it in right but it'll be all right I like this. I kind of like the way it looks. Hannah, Hannah kind of wants to paint it. I kind of want to leave it, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm gonna sink a couple screws in, figure out the placement. All right, make sure it's straight before I put the second screw in. The good thing about a lot of the stuff that we have put in this van over time is that It's just held in with a couple screws. <laughs> so if we want to take this down next week and paint it, we'll be able to. If we want to take it down and move it over here so it doesn't obstruct the sink, we can. And even so, like this cabinetry, that's just a couple like bedside uh, tables that we actually turned into cabinets for the sink. It was already this much taller than it is right now and we cut it down. So I might even take this off, cut down half of this and then make it even lower so that this problem doesn't exist. I don't know, but at the same time, this is usable. So I'm pretty happy with that choice. Now we just need some toothbrushes. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it. I love finding stuff like that at the thrift store. Now let's keep on moving. All right, take a look behind you. We're sitting outside of a, another Goodwill. We hardly ever go to this Goodwill. It's been forever since we've been here. But let's take a look in the back real quick and see if the cabinet door is closed. Yeah, so it didn't fly open. This cabinet here that we built, well, our chair did fall over, but we, we need to build like a rig to hold it in. But this cabinet door opens the other way, so it doesn't really have a problem with us breaking and it flying open. And it hasn't come open once, really. This one is hinged the other way so it looks like that could kind of be a problem but the brilliance i think of building a camper van like this out of super cheap thrifted stuff is that you don't mind unscrewing it cutting it up and building it back together in a way that fits you 
So we'll probably just take the door off that cabinet and kind of flip it the other direction or something. It's already clearly like hand built. It's, <laughs> it's already got a built weird and the handle's in a weird place and it's not really even clear if it's upside down or not. So we'll just modify it to our needs. But we're not gonna do that now. We're gonna go to a Goodwill now. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this Goodwill. It's been, it seems like months since we've been here. So stick around, this will be good. Ooh. It's heads up, does that mean I get a wish? Or does that mean that I'm just lucky? Do you remember which? <laughs> I think you're just lucky. Okay, no wishes. <laughs> I'm out a belt because I can't keep my draws up. It doesn't look like the video game situation is going to be too good, but I mean, at least there's some Wii Fit. Ooh, UMDs. Well, one game, one UMD. Of course, there's that. Uh, nothing. Are all these games going to be empty? No, just cause is there. Just cause. This is Hannah's favorite game, but we already have multiple copies of that. Rip that. Well, we're not doing too well. This is, this is kind of actually pretty typical here. To my memory, a lot of the games being stolen and stuff, but it's all right. None of that was stuff that I'm just like dying to have anyways. There you go. Party time. Party time karaoke, all right. We're, well, that's a good start. Um, I don't really see anything else. Strangely, a lot of the store looks understocked, but this toy area looks super stocked. So plush board games, I'm gonna kind of just look through all of them. Classic shoots and ladders. I want SpongeBob shoots and ladders, though I'm sure that would be named something really silly. What the heck? <laughs> Look at all this. Wow. These are all models. 125th scale model. Richard Petty's STP Grand Prix car. I, what model store closed down? I mean, I feel like I should at least put my eyeballs on all these. Snickers car. I was like, what if there's I was gonna say, what if there's a uh, Earnhardt or something buried in here? That's crazy. I mean, I guess we should at least humor ourselves and check and see what maybe these are selling for. I mean, the fact that there's 40 of each here is a pretty good sign that they're not really gonna be worth anything, but we're gonna at least look, see if the eBay barcode scanner gives us anything this is gonna be interesting yeah seven eight dollars well seven eighty eight you can buy this right now with fifteen dollars shipping they're priced at ten dollars a piece that's the problem if these were a couple bucks each i would definitely buy some and put them in our antique mall yeah same thing seven dollars thirteen dollars shipping three dollars eleven dollars shipping so it's essentially gonna cost you 20 bucks to get one sent to your home but look ten dollars a piece but that is odd to see it is definitely odd to see that many at once but that happens sometimes right comment below at your goodwills do you ever go in and there's a whole wall of one specific inbox disney infinity it happens here a lot is this thomas i don't know what's happening here it's like fire truck ambulance police Mm. And then the car comes out. Interesting. Interesting. Three forty nine. I'm not gonna buy them. I've got enough broken buzz right now. But there's that. So something's going on at this Goodwill that they're getting mass amounts of stuff. Look at this. Do you need three hundred cocktail shakers? I don't need one of them, let alone three of them. But it's crazy, like where did they come from? $3.49 a piece isn't bad though. Just so, so many of them. Oh, dang, I thought this was a fanny pack. I guess it was supposed to be like a shoulder bag. 
Like a clip bag? I'm it's not like really luggage, sure. Inside luggage bag. Ah, uh, inside luggage bag. That makes a lot of sense. We don't need that though. What? That's so great. I went to London and um, I bought a rubber duck for Dallas whenever I got um, back I gave it to him and it was William Shakes duck. It looked like William Shakespeare. It was really cute. They had some good rubber ducks over there in London. Ooh. Go Spidey go. Got two of them here. Dollar, that's not bad, but they're not old by any means. So I've triple checked the board game stuff and it's really looking like perhaps some liquidator liquidated a whole bunch of stuff. It's kind of funny when the liquidator liquidates stuff because then it goes to the Goodwill. Uh, but there's a Earnhardt puzzle, which is awesome. Everything Earnhardt I've put in our antique mall has sold near instantly. But then even better, CD-ROM. I guess this is a game. When I saw it at first, I thought it was a puzzle. All right, yeah, no, we're buying that. Just because it's cheap. Let's make sure it's cheap and not $9 like those models. Yeah, just three bucks. I'm going to get it. But this also caught my eye as just something that would actually be fun to do on our other channel. It's like stencils to cut your superheroes out of felt and stuff. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to mess with it. If that were new and unopened, that might be fun to do. But I'm definitely going to get those. It's too cheap not to. I just wish those models were cheaper. I would definitely buy some. I could buy enough of them to put one together on our other channel rubber duck yellow and then still sell some but this will do all right bought two things nascar racing cd rom game dale earnhardt i don't buy a lot of cd rom games every now and then when they're valuable we actually spotted a couple valuable ones on yesterday's episode but like they were not in box and stuff but this honestly even if it's not going to get played deserves to live on someone's shelf it's pretty awesome but we were actually in that goodwill way longer than it looked like we just got a few clips but we were in there for a while talking to a gentleman named chris who actually recognized this from his son's uh his son watching our youtube videos which i'd, I'd have to say is kind of a first Be like oh, i've seen you on, on my kids tv before uh, but his son actually bought his car from reselling. He watched, I guess, us reselling and some other channels like us and got inspired to do the same to get his car, which is one of the coolest stories I think I've ever been told sitting in a Goodwill. Um, a lot of people come to our channel looking for, if not instruction on how to do this, I, I don't get that so much because we don't ever try to be too informational. Uh, but we do get people that kind of watch us and put us on in the background while they're doing our work as to be a motivator and I, and I can appreciate that. But uh, I, I feel like super humbled to in any way be a part of someone kind of doing that kind of thing, taking initiative and going out and doing some work to get your own first car. I mean, super, super awesome. So uh, if you're watching my man, congratulations on pulling that off. Super bad A, super. All right, we're done with thrifting today. So we're going to uh, we're gonna go over to the toy store real quick. I'm looking for something very special. <laughs> I love my bread truck. We are at my favorite toy store in town, and I just got to check that we fit. I think we'll be all right. I was worried while we were driving here that we weren't gonna fit in this uh, parking lot because, as you can see, it's kind of tiny. It's uh, it's not bread truck approved but that mural is bread truck approved. I need that mural on the bread truck, but this place doesn't open for a couple more minutes, so we're just kind of hanging out. I'll tell you why we're here though. A few months ago before we left for one of our last road trips, um, my buddy Ivan of It's Just Ivan YouTube channel, go check him out, sent me a picture of a Furby Pop. And previous to then, I had no idea that that existed, but there is one Furby Pop out there uh that is easy to get your hands on that i want to go see if this place has this is kind of my go-to spot for all things toys in town so we're gonna go in i think they're opening right now that we're gonna go in and see if that pop is here if it is and it's cheap i'm gonna buy it if not it's still a really cool store to look around so stick around all right take a look around a room full of pops it's 
kind of wild. I mean, okay, it's not that wild. I'm sure you've all been in pop stores. It might be a little bigger, but this place, I've looked around enough. I kind of noticed there's a there's an organization. It's kind of like video games. Oh, you know, Pokemon, Sonic. Uh, I think there's a section in here of them that's like 90s cartoons and toys. So see if we can find that. See if we recognize anything else. That's pretty good. Anger. Uh, I thought that was Spyro, but it's not. It's Gil. Bugs Bunny. Alright, we got Rick and Morty. Pride Puffle. Oh, shoot, it is. I saw the top of it. <laughs> Furby Tiger. And it looks like there's actually several of the same one. It's good for me. It's very good for me that there's not a thousand Furby Pops, because then I would finally, once and all, be really, really tempted to collect Pops. But I'm not. I'm just going to get the one and put it on my Furby shelf. $10.99 is not bad. I mean, that's definitely going to be the most I've paid for a Pop. I've, uh, we've resold a bunch of Pops from the thrift store. We have a pretty good history of buying, like, $2 Pops and selling them for 100 bucks, and that's cool. The only other Pop I've ever bought for myself personally and kept was... Uh, KFC, because I'm from Kentucky. I don't know why I did it, but I did. That'll be number two. Not that I don't have a couple other pops that you guys have sent me, but this is the first time I think I've ever really just went out and sought out a pop. So I guess congratulations me. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Hey, recognize that? Oh, wow, $16. I paid a dollar for mine. We just picked this up at Goodwill the other day and I just pulled it out of the dishwasher for the first time and it's ready to drink out of. So that's really exciting. Honestly, I forgot we had it and I opened up the cupboard yesterday and I was like, huh. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's super cool though. I actually come to the store once a month just to see what they've restocked Power Rangers wise. I think I've maybe only ever really bought like one little thing from here. But sometimes, for whatever reason, they'll discount some stuff that maybe because it's been here for too long. I like to drool over this stuff. This is all the Power Ranger stuff I wanted to have when I was a kid, especially stuff like this that obviously I, I never got. But like I would want to buy now, but I'm not really a collector who buys inbox stuff like that. So I like to just window shop that stuff. But sometimes there are pieces like individual figures, more like the stuff over here. Or like I'll finally have the whole set except for this one so maybe I'll buy it if it's here and it's cheap enough but I just like looking I always think I'm gonna come buy something or like down here I'm trying real hard to get this whole McDonald's movie Power Ranger set and all the resorts so how much does that gorilla have on him five bucks so like if I was finally like that was the only one I needed I'd probably buy it it's five dollars isn't bad and I do actually have the Red Ranger that goes in them so it really wouldn't be a bad buy but we came here for Furby today, so we'll just get the Furby. Maybe next time, I'll buy the Zord. They've added a uh, trading card game section since the last time we were here. Right off the bat, Machamp, 55 bucks. So either a bunch of, you know, base set, uh, jungle set cards, first few sets, but look at this, this is almost all Charizards. Charizard, Blackstar promo, Charizard, Charizard, Charizard. These are really cool though. That might be the prettiest Charmeleon I've ever seen. It's kind of crazy that these things actually have value after 20 years. I've got a bunch of them, but I don't I don't have those hollow Charmander, Charmeleon. Uh, you know what's funny? This looks like a base set Charizard. Oh, okay. There's a symbol in the bottom right. It's actually the remake. I thought for a second that would have been way too cheap. Another pretty good reason to come to this store is to kind of like absorb some information about some of the board games and maybe keep a lookout for i mean some of it's obvious like if i saw this in the thrift store i'd be like oh 100 percent gonna buy but then it also can teach me like some board games that i would love to have that i didn't know existed a pokemon matching game it's clearly vintage vintage milton bradley like i i now know this exists and that's kind of helpful to me because i would definitely collect that if i found it at a goodwill but i'm not gonna pay 20 bucks. 20 bucks for it. Hannah just pointed out that there were some Furby in here. Uh, this could be interesting. $60 for standard black Furby. That's kind of... I mean, I, I, that sounds about right, I guess. There's actually an inbox Furby back here that's very colorful. And it looks like he's marked 40, but I can't tell. It's going to be really difficult to see because it's dark in there. 
but he is a classic Furby. He's orange and blue, and it's got a note written on it. I can't see what the note says. I think I might have to get someone that works here and actually check it out. <laughs> I was just saying on yesterday's episode that like I don't go paying full price for Furbies, and I'm not. But I wouldn't mind coming here and trading some excess video game stuff or something like that. I would definitely, definitely do that. I feel like I gotta know. It could say $29 on it, it could say $99, i am not sure. Oh. You think, um, you think this is allowed? I mean, I'm gonna be very nice. Watch out, Elvis. All right, it says electronics do not work and it's got a mark through it. Okay, so it's super marked down. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna have to show you guys. There is, of course there is, there is, <laughs> there is a Furby wiki. Hannah's looking at me like I'm crazy. She doesn't know about the Furby wiki. And I'm, I, I kid you not, I just opened my phone and it was already on there. This was not planned. <laughs> I go to the Furby wiki for my checklist all the time. Uh, let me find it. Official Furby Wiki. Just Google it. Of course, there's my uh, pop right on top. But there's checklists, and I'm pretty sure this is like a super rare limited edition one. I've got a hard decision to make, don't I? I'm going to go to list of Furbies. And look, I'm going to scroll down through these, okay? Okay, special edition ones. So here's my problem right now. I have a very strict rule not to spend more than a couple of dollars at a thrift store on a Furby. That's something I take very seriously. However, please understand this. I've been oogling at this list of special edition Furbies that I was certain was like going to be impossible to find. Completely and entirely impossible to find no matter what happened. <laughs> And here I am sitting and looking at one. This is, he is called Patriotic. So he's like the 4th of July Furby. So I'm having a real problem here because I don't want to spend this money. Uh, it does say it's broken on the box. And I thought maybe I'd turn it over and parts would be missing. Maybe someone just put batteries in it and it doesn't work. I have spare Furbies that I could swap parts for. And it's, <laughs> there's not a lot of reason right now not to buy it. And I'm really trying to talk myself out of it. But... I've got the money, so it's not a big deal. Oh, man. This is tough. Hannah, you just had to spot the Furbies, didn't you? Here's another one I don't have. This one says it's $11.99. Electronics do not work. It looks like I'm going to have to learn to take Furbies apart and fix them. Which actually would be quite difficult because they are animatronic. What do you think, Hannah? Hmm. What do you think? I want it. <laughs> I made some sales today. I sold some merch today. <laughs> why, why shouldn't I take that merch money and buy Patriotic Furby? Are you going to wait on the pop then? Nah, I might as well just scoop them both up. We do this like once in a blue moon on the channel. I actually go to the store and buy something. And we may or not, may or may not be breaking into this cabinet. I don't know. Don't really know what the rules are there but I'm trying to be as respectful as possible, so I think I gotta get it. I think I gotta get it and make an experiment out of trying to swap other Furby parts for it. I think that's what I gotta do. You can tear another Furby apart. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Furby without his clothes on? No. You don't want to. <laughs> okay, I don't find a lot of merch for this particular show. Um, I think Hot Topic did a run for a little bit. But this is from Over the Garden Wall, which is one of my favorite short TV shows. It's so good. I highly recommend it. If you come across it, watch it. It is worth it. But this is Greg from, from that show. It's so cute. I want him in pop form, but they don't make him pop for Greg. Why is that Barbie say jealous? Oh! They have plushes for it too. Oh. 
You know, this whole Barbie section over here, I kind of hoped that maybe there would be an inbox Bratz doll, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I guess they don't do those here. They have Spice Girls though, that's pretty sweet. You guys get a lot of Furby in here? No. <laughs> I would imagine not. All right, thrifting wise, there wasn't a ton to talk about. You know, just the puzzles and the games, that was cool, but I am beyond excited for this Furby. Because honestly, it, uh, it presents a really neat challenge to go and uh, work on it and try to fix it. I'm really curious because it doesn't have too bad of a sound. There's a really, really good chance it's just a problem with the battery terminal. Um, but at any rate, that's got to be the goofiest Furby I currently own. And it's certainly the one, I, it's not the one I paid the most for. Well, it is. It's tied. Yeah. It's the second time I paid thirty dollars for one. So. Well, I wonder too. I've I've tested quite a few Furbies in my day, and there have been times where I put the battery in and I'm like this thing doesn't work. But I left the batteries in for a while because I was testing another one or something, and then it finally started working. It's so funny you say that because someone commented on maybe yesterday's video, maybe a couple days ago, and told me this long story about he got it. It was a kid, and he didn't really understand it because it speaks a weird language when you open one up for the first time. So he like buried it in his closet, forgot about it for years, and then randomly started hearing noises and they pulled it out and like, oh my God, is this Furby making noises? And then they opened it and it didn't have batteries in it. So it was like a ghost Furby, swear to oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> comment someone made on a video a couple days ago when I bought a Furby. And I was like, if that's not the most Furby story I've ever heard, because they're weird. They're demented. They are. And like this does, making one with the Popeyes doesn't help any Popeyes. Um, uh, toot, toot. Yeah, it's dope. It's a tiny little pop too. Itty bitty. It's like that big. Um, um, well, whenever I went to go pick this up, I noticed. Do you see that in there? Oh, you know what that means? It's his name, isn't it? Oh, it probably is. I don't know if I can get this out without messing it up. Maybe, I don't know if it's, yeah, it's Furby speak. Well, it says May May. I guess we could look. It just says Furby Tiger. When you take a Furby home, you will never be alone. The more you play, the more they do. Furby will keep amazing you. Huh? May May might be its name. I, you know what? I'll have to go home on the Furby wiki and see what the Tiger one's name is. Cause they all have names. Um, Your obsession with Furby Wiki is like my obsession with my Bratz collector. Oh, well, I, I, I've been printing out screenshots of the checklist to literally put checks on them. I need to do that. Honestly, there is not a good Bratz checklist out there. No, not a, not a good exhaustive one. No, and the one that I found is pretty good, but it's super slow. Right. So it's very difficult to maneuver, and there's no boys in it whatsoever. So <laughs> well, that's frustrating, because you've got plenty of the boys. I do, yeah. And the thing you hear is, that, people? Hannah's got boys. I got boys <laughs> in my crate at home under my bed. <laughs> she does keep her brat stalls under her bed. Just in case you needed to know that well, information. Well, do you want to know why I keep them there? No, I have no idea why you keep them there. <laughs> because the cats really like to play with their hair. That's true. And so if I keep them under the bed, the they won't. The crate. Want... Well, the crate slides perfectly under our bed. It does. So they can't. I got they you. Get to the hair. Smart banana. Okay. Um, well. You guys comment, what's your favorite thing we came home today? With Furby or NASCAR stuff? I mean, which do you prefer? I honestly understand if you prefer the NASCAR stuff, but I've really been enjoying this Furby collecting. And, uh, you know, this is my second original run Furby that's in box. And it's my very first collector's edition. That's awesome. So, let Good us know. Robert. Good Bobber. Let us know in the comments if you're excited about that. Also, I'll be kind of curious. I know there's plenty of people watching that have various ways they do or don't collect pops. Okay, I, I, I get that, but I'm curious if anyone else does this. Cause this, the only pops Hannah and I collect are the ones that we collect other stuff and we have the pop of the thing, yes. right? So like I've got a Power Ranger pop one of you guys gave me that's like one of my prized possessions, right? Super dope. And I have the Furby pop. And like, that's the only pop again that I, I might be full of crap. Someone's probably gonna correct me. It's the only Furby I can ever recall that I looked at Hannah and said, hey, I'm gonna go buy this pop today. Yeah, I was like, I think the Yellow Ranger Pop was the only other one that you actually was like, I think I want this. Where did I get it? Uh, Bookman's in... Oh, store credit. Yes. Well, well that makes sense, because that's almost what I was going to do to buy this Furby. I was going to go get some video games and come back, but then I was like, I got paid today. <laughs> I'll buy the... I'm an adult. 
I could buy this Furby. That's what I, I had that argument in my head. <laughs> I'm an adult. I'm gonna buy this toy. Yeah. yeah. I was like, why am I not gonna buy this? This is the most amazing Furby I've found in the wild yet. <laughs> well, I mean, it is really cool. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it in the clip or not, but I asked the guy at the store, do Furbies turn up very often? He was like, nope, not at all. But a surprising number of people want them. <laughs> That's what he said. I was like, well, I'm one of those. I really want this. Um, but yeah, comment below, let us know what your favorite thing that we got today was. And then do me an even bigger favor, come back tomorrow because we will post another video tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. And on top of that, if you haven't subbed already, you've been flirting with the idea because you kind of like our channel, just go ahead and sub because we're going to hit 10,000 subs really soon. And I'd appreciate your help with that. So until tomorrow, guys, peace out. Peace, love, and Furbies. That's, that's going to be my new outro. Peace, love, and Furbies. I like it. <laughs>